A big hello to you, my Minecraft friend. Welcome back to the episode of Life in the Woods Renaissance here at the GEI. I'm the Radio Man 03, and it's awesome to have you along. <laughs> We're up here, top floor. We're going to get started on today. But before we do, I promised in the last episode, this is the Friday episode. It's Friday episode. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Friday. We're going to read a book. Here it is. This one is called Autumn Something. We'll take a look at it once we're done with it. I don't know if I can actually click on it while I'm sitting in the chair. Deep into the caves lies a large cottage named Sivia. Sivia is known as the village on the mountain to those far away. Sivia has extravagant restaurants, a talented reverend, and a welcoming community center. The nearby reverend is usually around to help those in need. Each afternoon, Reverend Nank would walk to the edge of the town center and say a prayer. Facing the sun with her eyes closed, she speaks her battlecraft, a fast breeze ran down her chest and she opened his eyes. She could see a bunch of mist just on the plains. The reverend feared for the distant house. She decided she would explain her curiosity to the friends in Sibia. She suggested they make any supplies they could spare and she would take a trip to the distant house and attempt to help. Since close to a half hour of jogging, Nank could look down onto the final mound and down onto the house. This was more than a burning house. This was an attack. There was a monstrous monster just on the outskirts of the house watching its smoke. Older. Nank attempted to spot if anyone could still be alive, but it was too smoky to see. Nank would have to venture to downward to check for survivors. If the monster were to spot her, she could get injured or killed, but she would not take the chance of leaving someone. As Nank arrived at the broken house, she could sense a person cowering. She walked in to try to save her. She was wedged inside a shed. Nank kicked the door in and inquired if there was anything left. She said her name was Murkeg. It was time to go. Nank and Murke got away from the burning cave. Determined to get away to a safe place, the monster had smelled a new scent and heard them. It was a zombie. The zombie swooped down to try to take control. Nank determined to look after Murke, broke a stick in half, and jumped at the zombie. Just as the zombie attempted to claw Nank, she sliced her axe deep into the zombie's back, injuring it. Murke was amazed at the horrible smell. I bet. Nank walked to Murkeg and spoke to her, reminding her that there is plenty of daylight. They could journey to Sevia now. Kind of odd, huh? She broke a stick in half and jumped at the zombie and stuck it in the back with an axe. And this one back here, this part gets me here too. She speaks her battlecraft, a fast breeze battle chant. A fast breeze ran down her chest and she opened his eyes. Her eyes? I don't know. But that's the first book. The first book from the Treetop Kingdom. We have officially read it, ladies and gentlemen. We have officially read it. Uh, shift. There we go. Boom. We're out. <sighs> Hope everyone's doing great. I am doing fantastic. As I said, it is Friday. And as you can see, I am John Marston. Yes, indeed, John Marston. Okay, what was this book called? Uh, e. This is Autumn Dreams 387. The reason I picked Autumn Dreams was because... We have trees in our yard. I have two young aspen trees in my yard currently turning yellow. Uh-huh. Yeah. Fall is nipping in the air at us right now. My neighbor's cliff rose bush is actually all, almost all yellow now, too. So it seems like uh, winter is just around the corner for me. Huh? How crazy is that? I feel like summer is still here, and we've got these really, really cold temperatures coming. It's um, unbelievable. Uh, boom, 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 boom. There we go. All right, so today we are going to get started on this little bugger up here. Yeah, the little bugger. <laughs> it's nothing little about this. I think I may have to back out and reload because I've got this jumpy, jumpy, jumpy thing going on right now. And sometimes that happens when I open OBS and try to record and play at the same time. We'll see. We'll see if it becomes too big of a problem. Right now it is actually being a problem. Uh, that is our middle. So we are actually going to do a 37 radius circle on the inside here so i want to see we're going to go 18 so that's uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen Oh, wait a second. Okay, so that's not as big as I thought it was. All right. I thought this was a much bigger circle. I can't remember how big this was out here. So what I say? 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so then we need to go 16 this away as well. All right, and then we should be ready to rock and roll. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16. Now, if you remember when I talked about this earlier, what it is is we're going to have a platform on the outside here that we'll be able to come through doors and be on the outside here. So there'll be a balcony on the outside. We can come up to the edge and take a look down at anything we want to take a look at. <gasps> What's that? The chests are gone. Yes. All the chests have been put away. Did I slap myself in the back when I was done? <laughs> you know I did. All right, so you know what? I am going to go ahead and back out. Give me just a second because this is really jumpy and crazy. So I'm going to back out and reload, and then I shall return. Okay, we are back. So we know what we got going on here now. We've got a 33 radius circle here. 33. Lovely. I've pulled up my Minecraft chart, and we're going to get busy here getting these put in. Okay, let's see here. Well, for a 33... How many do we need to cross the top here? We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine blocks across. That's the center, so we're going to go four on each side. There's four there. And we've got one, two, three, four. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then we're going to go out two, like so. Let's do both sides at the same time. Out two, like that. That's going to give us a little bit of a walkway out here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's a good enough walkway. Okay, and I'm pulling this up, and I've got this on my phone, and I've pulled it up and made it a little bit larger so I can see it. Uh, and then it's another two out from there for a 33. The 33 circle actually looks a little bit odd on the graph. I wonder if there's a better better graph for this one here. Let me see if, let me see if I can uh, get this one blown up a little bit here. See if it's got a different look to it as I as I build it. 31. Well, that chart only goes to 31. So no, it's no good. Ha! This is too big. It is too big and that is too small. Okay, so then it's uh, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Another 2. Okay. 1, 2. And... 1, 2, 3. 1, 2. Okay, then it's a single. One and one. Oh, sun's going down. It's a little deceiving where the sun goes down behind the mountain back there. It makes you think it's going to be nighttime a lot earlier than it actually is. Ah, yep, yeah, it's Friday afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I could not be happier about that. I got a fresh cup of coffee. Just went and got it as the game was getting ready to load up again. So what do I do? One, two, one, two, one, two, and then one, one. Okay, so then we've got one, two, one, two. One, two, and then a one and a one. All right, beautiful. Big rooms. We're going to have lots of space in here. Okay, so I've gone down the one, 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 two, one. This is really difficult because what they have on this chart is they actually show a block here. And then they show... Yeah, then they show the one, two. And then it's one, two, and then it's... God, so weird. Down here. And it's over there too, and then it's over there too. And how many of those? That is just really confusing to me. I'm gonna take this out of here and this out of here. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be one of those one of those circles here. Um, okay, so two, and then one, one. Okay, and then we start coming down. One, two, one, two, one. Oops, 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 oops. Got to pay really close attention to this. If I don't, I'm going to screw it up, and then I'm just going to be in trouble all over again. So then it's one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, one, two. That's not so bad. And then we go nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make sure that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and then what we have, we have one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then it was just uh, just going the opposite direction with them, right? Yeah, that was just the opposite direction. So, okay, then we go two down this way, two this way, two that way. One, two, one, two, one, two, and then we have nine here. So this should match up with this. Hmm, one, two, three. I don't think this is correct. One, two, three, four. No, nope, we got we've got a boo-boo somewhere in here already. Uh, let me get this block out of here first. Okay, so one, two, one, two, one, two. Ah, oh, one, one. 
Oh, well, that's going to be much bigger then. One, two, one, two. Yeah, three twos and then two singles. Three twos. One, two. One, two, three. And then three singles, actually. Maybe this won't be different. Maybe this lacks... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Hold on. This is why I have to double check. This happens to me all the time when it comes to circles. I love them. I love them in Minecraft because they're all squares and they're not allowed. <laughs> but you really do have to be careful with what you're doing. And here we go. And I'm always second guessing myself on this stuff. So that's one, two. I need three of these. And then one. Okay. And then I'm still only three blocks here. That's still not. Something is still not right. Hmm. Do I have this incorrect? Let's see here. Oh, I do. I'm starting off incorrect. This is the block we're supposed to be starting with right here. All right, let me uh, let me get this ironed out. Yeah, I started off at the wrong block to begin with. That's why we're off by one. So give me one second. I'll be right back, and we'll get this first circle in, and we'll have kind of a general idea as to how big the interior is going to be. Well, almost an idea as to how big the interior is going to be. All right, we're good. I I'm not quite somewhere I was going wrong down here. I don't know where it is. I'll probably see it when I play it back. You guys are probably screaming at me anyways. Uh, but it's right here. I've, I've got it all figured out. This is a 33 radius circle. This big one right here, the top one that makes up the floor right now, is 41. So this is a 33. Now I want to go 33, 32, 31. I want to go down to a 31 radius circle and put one of these in. That's the next step for me. This is going to be the inner wall. This is the outer wall. And in between here, it's going to give us room. Um, so if we want to put up some shelves or something, embedded shelves in the wall, redstone in the walls, I want uh, double sticky piston doors here on that end and that end. And each of these ends, I want double sticky piston doors that we'll be able to walk out of. So now we're looking for a 31 radius circle. My dang phone keeps shutting off on me. It's misbehaving. Oh, uh, 31. Here we go. Let's try this again. See if I can get this one right on camera. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. Okay, so let's go. It's 4, 5, 6, and 7. And then we have uh, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, and 3. And a 1, 2, and a 1, 2. And then a one, 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 and a one, two, uh, one, two, and then a three, and a one, two, three. Why am I making so many mistakes on this? It's going to drive me crazy here. It is that many one singles, right? One, two, three, four. Three and then two. One, two, three, and then two, and then one, two, three, four, and then it should be two, and then three, but that's gonna butt me right up against this right here. That doesn't that's not gonna work. Ah <sighs> okay, so let me do this one off camera as well, and we'll come back. As far as I know, I can from what I can see I'm doing this right, but it looks like I'm not doing it right, so I'm having troubles already. One, two, three, four, three, four. And then it is one, two. Wow, that is just crazy. Am I not starting this at the right place? 33, 32, 31. This is 31 right here. Hmm. All right, I'll be back. I'll be back. I've got something I'm doing screwy here. You know, math, shapes, just throw me off. It takes me forever, but once I get it in, then I'm good to go. I've got to sleep too, so I'll be right back. Okay, it's actually uh, a 29, <laughs> not a 31. Okay, so 30, 29, 29. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm just making it work out here. There we go. And then we got a two. And then it's one, two, three. One, two, three. And then it's one, two. And then it's one, two, three. Yes. And then it's seven. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. And then we have three here and two, and then one, two, and three, and then two, and one, two, three. That's three, four, five, six, seven. Keep your fingers crossed. We're nearing the end of the circle. <laughs> three. Uh, one, two, and then oh, one, two, three. All right, there we go. That's our inner wall. Holy crap. Jeez. <sighs> you know what? I, oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm in the water. Okay. Come on, radio. Get it together. I think this week has just been out to get me. I, I truly believe that. It's a full moon week, and I think that's got a lot to do with what's going on with me this week. It's just been one heck of a week. As I mentioned in the last episode, I've been having a lot of troubles this week, and they have not slowed down. Okay, coffee. Yeah, coffee con leche. Mmm, delicious. Okay, now from here, from this location here, I would like to do another circle. Uh, three, four, five. Let's see, how much room do we want when we get off of here? Five, six, seven. Hmm. Let's see here. Um, let's go five. I, what did I say? Seven there? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So what is this? That's ten. 11. There's 11 radius on this one here. I want an inner circle when we get off the elevator. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so that's going to be 5 across here. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we've got a 1 and a 1. Uh-oh, the table's going to be in the way. The table's going to be in the way. So is this. There we go. Perfect. Okay, one, one, and then we've got the, just the same. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. One, and one. And one, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, one. One, two, three, four, five. And one, one. Okay, so this is going to be, when we get off the elevator, we've got a little bit of an area where we can, uh, you know, just dress it up a little bit this is the elevator it'll probably all be glass so we can see into it but i do want it to be a little bit separated from the rest of the structure at least in my head at this moment in time all right then let's go ahead and do that and that we're gonna take those out of there and we're gonna take these guys out of here take this out of here and this out of here and same with this side here Right now we get off this side and go down that side and we could go down on that side. So maybe what we could do is we can leave this enclosed on this end. We'll leave this open over here and we can close it off on this end here. Okay. Out here we're going to want to... Hmm. So much for the sticky piston door since we're odd numbers. That's not going to work. Not for me anyways. Uh, let's drop down there. We didn't have anything go down there, did we? No, we did not. Okay, so there's a door right there leading out that direction. And the walls are going to go up five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Okay, and then this one comes over the top of that right there. Boom. Okay, so that's the height of our walls right there. When we come through, we walk out that height right there. And let's do that. I want nice, relatively high walls. They're going to get a little bit higher as the building moves inward. Uh, we're going to gradually slope. Um, that's not right. There we go. We're going to gradually slope from the outer edge of the um, building to the center. Almost like a kind of a circus tent type feel. And we're going to do that and that and that. There we go. And again with the five, let's go up this. Let's, let's see if we can do all of them at once. What's that? That's three, four, five. 
Nope, one more on top of the five. Yeah, one more on top of five. Five is the, the height we're going. There we go. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Perfect. That's one, two, three, four, five, and then the roof, then the ceiling on top of that. Okay, perfect. So yeah, this should be a pretty good sized structure for us, don't you think? I think it is. Um, yeah, let's 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 finish the doorways, then we're gonna figure out kind of where the uh, entrance ways for each of the rooms are gonna go, and then we'll have a really nice blueprint of what's going on up here, and that's gonna be a huge help. Two, three. Right, one, no, that's one, two, three, four. This is five right here. So then we go across this way. Beautiful. Uh, I know why. Two, three, four, five. John Marston was not our skin last time. I was playing offline, and I don't believe the uh, skin is available when you were playing offline. Uh, the servers weren't up for, I, for, I, for some reason, my internet was going on and off on uh, Wednesday when I recorded the last episode. And so it was um, causing some screwy things. And that's why we were Steve, was because I was playing the game offline. So it occurred to me as I was uploading the video, oh, that's right, I've been having internet issues today. So that's why we were Steve and not John Marston. One, two, three, four, five. And then again, one more on top. And yahoo! And one, two, that's three, four, five, and we're up at the top. Bingo. And a bingo. All right, there we go. Beautiful. Now remember, off of each of these is going to be a path that leads to the biosphere. So that's what these are for, these doors. We'll probably use garage doors now that I think of it. We never know. You may leave, we may leave them wide open too. I don't know. My original plan was going to have two wide sticky piston doors in there, but now that they're odd numbers, it's not going to work. Um, but we'll, we'll work something else out that looks really cool. Sip my coffee here real quick. Okay, so now, like, now we want to want to do, I'm going to use dirt from now on, but we want to have, uh, bam, like so. Okay, so we come in from the biosphere, we walk in, we've got a hallway here, and this area takes us right to the elevator. Um, as a matter of fact, I believe what we are going to have to do is we are going to have to open these up. I guess we could do single doors, though, couldn't we? Nah, we, we should do the triple. We should just do the triple. Yeah, let's do the triple. That's just, it's going to make it look nicer. And I, I think that's a good idea. Let's do the triple here and there. Okay, bingo. And then we're also going to do... Like so. Yeah. Like that. Oh yeah. Let's take a little snooze here, people. Game's a little jumpy today. Not sure why. We did have a storm just roll through, so maybe that's got something to do with it. I don't know. But uh, it's acting a little bit funny today. Last cup of coffee from our lunchbox that we stole everything from. Okay, there we go with that. And we're going to do the same thing over here. Yeah, I am mapping this out, guys, just like I always do give you kind of an idea. You can wrap your imaginations around it. And if you have any suggestions, let's get these in the right spot before we make a mistake. So this is going to be sort of the central area where you would go and you'd be able to access each area. You're going to have to run down to the center each time. Like so. And these are the rooms that we have. Each of these is the room. So, where will we put doors? Does that look even? It's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, kind of three. What if we do that there and put that right there? Three, and, no, there we go. That's, that's much better. That's even. <laughs> that's even. There we go. Uh, so, what do we got? One, two, three.
wrong spot. Oh man, I did it again. I did it again. You gotta watch me. I will screw things up. One, two, three. One, two, three. No. What is that? What am I doing? How can I keep messing this up? Oh my god, that's so weird. On the outside, it's three. On the inside, it's two. Oh, I see what I'm doing here. Okay, I see. I'm counting three this way. And I've got three on the outside there. Okay, so that's what we want. We want three at least on the outside here when we're looking at it. So one, two, three, one, two, three on the outside. One, two, three, one, two, three. I can't be doing this from the inside. That's what's throwing me off. Oh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three. Beautiful. Okay, now I see where I'm going wrong. One, two, three. There we go. And boom, there we go. Okay, so doors on these side, these sides as well. So then we've got a building area here. We've got building space along this wall right here. If we want to, we can put stuff in dent things or use maybe a little redstone if we want to up in this area, but we'll be able to see out. Now for walls, what I'm thinking about using, and I mentioned a couple episodes ago, I'm thinking about those Japanese walls, the, uh, the paper walls. I think those might be kind of cool. But out here then, of course, we have ourselves... Uh, uh, a bit of a balcony we'll be able to walk up to on the outside of this and take a look around. And eventually this will meet up with with this area right here and we'll have some nice lighting on the outside of this all the way around and we'll be able to, um, you know, uh, come out here and take a look at the world around us, which would be really fun, I think. Really, really cool. And don't forget, we're going to build a little fish shack down here, a little fishing area for us to go down there. That is a beautiful view, isn't it? Huh? How would you like to wake up to that? Any of you wake up to something like that every day where you look down and just see these fantastic islands? That's really gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. And it is a long ways down. Holy cow. All right, awesome. All right, so we've got our walls laid out. That's a lot of walls. That's a lot of walls. Now, something else we need to think about. Okay, so we get off the elevator on this side here. This is going to come up, of course. It won't be like this. We'll fix this up. We come off the elevator... Um, I think for our bedroom, we're going to want it to be someplace convenient to that, correct? I would say so. So this will be bedroom in here. And then kitchen over here. And eventually what I want to do is I want to have some kind of ductwork running from the biosphere that will be out here. Ductwork that comes in here and drops the food off into the kitchen. This might be some tight quarters for the kitchen. So we might have to do, say, a kitchen here with uh, food storage over in here, possibly. And then we can run that food line from the main biosphere over to this direction anywhere we want to. It wouldn't be a problem at all. Hmm. Okay. And then, uh, then we have one more. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. We'll make one room kitchen, one room food storage. Okay, we'll have food storage up in here. And then this room will be our library enchanting slash armory room. That'll be cool. Okay. How does that sound to you guys? You like that idea? That gives us uh, four four different projects to do in in addition to building the walls and the ceiling and decoring it and getting plants in here and everything else can you see it in your head have i painted the picture for you with all my bumbling and stumbling today <laughs> yeah you can't you can't you can't trust me to lead you as lead you straight on a circle can't lead you straight on a circle hmm that's interesting a choice of words especially when they get big like this i tend to make a lot of mistakes yeah, what am I eating? A meaty stew. Oh, a meaty stew. I like that. That's all right. Cool. All right. Send in your ideas because it's the Friday episode, so we've got a whole weekend to wait. And uh, I've actually got to get off. I don't have much time today to record at all. I need to uh, get an episode of Space Engineers going as well because uh, Variety is taking me out for sushi tonight. I've never had sushi ever. I've had some, well, I shouldn't say that. I've had some cheap, like, grocery store 
type stuff, but I don't think that was the real deal. And uh, she and her employees have been going to this place for sushi a couple of times, and uh, she's fallen in love with it, which is really weird for Variety because she is a very picky eater. So she wants to take me there tonight, and then we're going to come back and have some cocktails at the house, maybe sing a little karaoke, have a good time. And then Saturday, we're going to go uh, exploring our local area again and do a little exploration. So that's all I got time for today, guys, but we've got it mapped out. That's a good thing. I can wrap my brain around this and start thinking about it, which is gonna, which is one of my favorite parts to do. It's one of my absolute favorite parts to do. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time. Welcome to the new subscribers. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 3 and I want you to have an awesome, fantastic, and superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.